Welcome to the Mac OS app development series. My name is Harry M. This is a series of video tutorials which aims to teach you how to build Mac OS apps. If you are an iOS developer or programming beginner, this is built for you. In the later episodes, we will also explore different Mac OS development concepts by means of projects. Now, let's get started. In this episode, We'll start with some basics. The first topic is storyboard. If you are an iOS developer, this should be familiar to you. Using storyboards, we can build the basic app flow, navigation, and so on without waiting one line of code. Today, we'll start making the app by dragging some components to the storyboard. Now, let's head over to Xcode and create a new project. We'll choose Mac OS here with the Coca app selected. We can put our product name, let's say Storyboards. You can choose your own organization, name and identifier. We have Swift selected here. And make sure you also check uh, Use Storyboards so that the default storyboard files will be generated for you. Now the project is created and on the left side, we can find the main.storyboard file, which is set as the main interface of this project, as you can see here. We will open the file here and it shows up the storyboard file. Inside, we can see there are two uh, components in it with the window controller uh, at the top. It contains a window and a view controller at the bottom, which contains a custom view. Let's say we are going to drag a label to it. and change it to something we want to see. We can center the label using the snap grid and the guide. Now let's run our project the very first time and see the label showing up in here. Further on, we are going to make some changes to the layout. Let's say I would like to have a split wheel at the top of the wheel and then some buttons at the bottom. I'd also want to add a toolbar at the top, which contains a color picker and the font setting. This is pretty easy to do. And we will start uh, by dropping this wheel controller and add a new one to the storyboard. Drag the component to the storyboard. And then we can link them up by dragging from the window controller here to the real controller. Choose this as the window content. Next, we are going to add the toolbar. Toolbar is added to the window, so we can drag the component to the window like this. As you can see, it shows up at the top. And then we can try running our app to see the result. Now, the toolbar with uh, the default pickers uh, are showing up, like the colors and font. Tapping on this will show the color settings as well, as well as for the font settings. Next, we are going to add the views uh, into the view controller. Let's start with the buttons. 
I'm going to add a custom view at the bottom. I can drag the size like usual um, design application. And then find the button and add to it. The button is now shown at the bottom left. For the area above, I want to add more content. So I'm going to use a container view which can embed another view controller. Search container view here and drag it to the storyboard. We can change the size, like other views. By default, it also comes with a view controller. There is a good practice here uh, to split the storyboards. So for instance, if I'm working with a team member, and we always want to prevent changing the story boss at the same time because it would be hard to merge later on what i can do is to um, find the editor menu and choose refactor to storyboard make sure at this point i already have uh, the view controller here selected So let's say I will embed this view controller to another storyboard called split view. A split view storyboard file is generated. Now let's try to add a label to this um, view controller first and call it a split view run the project and take a look so this now shows up in our application so this is how it works if we go back to the main storyboard file it creates a reference to another storyboard. We can actually tap here, choice, to jump to the uh, new storyboard file. So it is quite handy. So now let's proceed to adding a vertical split wheel to the, uh, to the scene. We can search uh, vertical split wheel and then simply drop, uh, drag it and drop to our storyboard modifies the size like other views and we have uh, the left and right hand side of the views here let's say we can add the label to both of these we name the label like this and run the application. So they are shown up here. We can uh, change the uh, size of the split wheel by dragging this. Well, now we can change the size of the split wheels. However, the labels are not always positioned at the middle of each wheels. Of course, this is something achievable the easy way is to use auto layout and we'll leave it as a topic for the next episode. Now let's get back to our storyboard. Let's say we expect to have even more content in each of the uh, views of the split wheel. And we want to use wheel controller to manage their life cycle. 
what we can do is to replace the current custom wheel controller by a vertical split wheel controller. To do this, let's first uh, remove the wheel controller from the current storyboard. And then we are going to add the vertical split wheel controller to the scene. In order to connect uh, our main storyboard uh, to the view controller here, what we want to do is to set this new split wheel controller as the initial controller of this storyboard. To do this, we can first uh, choose the split wheel controller here, and then choose its initial controller on the right side. You will see an arrow showing up here, meaning this is like the entry point of this storyboard. And then this uh, links up to two view controllers, which would be the left and right side. Let's add the label in it. For better navigation, um, when designing the app in Storyboard, I will also drag um, this wheel controller to the bottom so that I can show these two uh, wheel controllers side by side. Now, if we run the application again, we should expect similar uh, layout as before. Yeah, like um, mentioned before, the position of the labels can be further adjusted uh, using auto layout. Later on, if we have even more information or content inside each of the wheel controller, we can use the same technique uh, to embed this wheel controller into another storyboard so that we can split uh, the storyboard into several smaller storyboards and it will help in uh, team development a lot. Now let's do a quick recap. We learned to build Mac OS app using storyboards as several basic components including toolbar, custom view controller and view, and also button. We also learn to split the big storyboard file into a few storyboards and link them using reference. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week.